Hi guys, it's Stephanie. It's January 31st. And this is how I look like when I'm leaving work to go home. Yep. I got to deal with bumper to bumper traffic when I'm going home. Many people are getting off work right now. It's about 3.05. Um, right now, the weather is 70 degrees. This morning, it was 38 degrees. Can you believe that? Look at that. Crazy, isn't it? Over 30 degree difference. It's 70 degrees out. This is what I was wearing this morning because I was freezing, but I had a jacket over it. And the skies are blue, the sun's out. And they're saying that one day this week, we're gonna hit 80 degrees. <clears throat> so anyways, before I continue, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers who have been with me since last year. And to those visitors, just checking out my videos. If you find something that resonates with you, please consider hitting that subscribe key. Thank you. So anyways, what happened at work today? When I was at work today, it happened again. A customer needed my assistance, but at the same time, I felt different um, vibrations with this gentleman. He must have been around maybe, I would say 37 years old. And as I'm assisting him, I can tell that his mind is not where on, on uh, his projects or what his questions were of me. So I got him um, help with another customer in a department he, did, he needed help in and I walked away. About 20 minutes later, or 30 minutes later, he comes walking into my department and he says to me, do I make good money there? <laughs> there? <coughs> Am I earning good money there? I told him that I didn't feel comfortable discussing my pay with customers. And, but I told him that when I got hired 16 years ago on this job, similar, this is what they started me out with. So that question quickly evolved into, do I have a boyfriend? Um, would I like to go out? for a drink. Now, these are the vibrations that I picked up. I picked up that after I got him the help he needed, there was something else that he wanted to ask me. That's what I, that's what I was picking up in the vibrations and that there was something else going on inside his mind. So anyways, he continued to ask me, um, can, would I take his number? I said that I'm not interested in a relationship and that I like my single life, was what I told him. Okay? 
Um, he was he was he was very courteous about it. He wasn't being. Um, there was no sarcasm. Um, I just kept telling him. I said I can be his friend. I said I can only be your friend. And then he quickly reminded himself. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even give you my name. After all that, then he decides to give me his name. But I'm not interested. I'm not interested. Because my experience tells me that, yeah, he gave me a nice compliment and he said to me, oh, I like how you look and I think you carry yourself very well. And then he said to me, you can't be no more than 46 years old. I said, I'm a little older than that. Okay, you guys know how old I am. And uh, I said, I can only be friends with him. It's a bad idea dating customers. And not only that, I don't know how he's viewing me. Is he viewing me as a cisgender woman? Is he viewing me as a transsexual woman? Does he have a thing for transsexual women? I don't know. Because if he's viewing me as a transsexual woman, then I can be off the hook of needing to explain to him my history if I was interested, okay? If there was a possibility, if I knew him a lot better, if he wasn't a customer, a lot of ifs there. Now, yeah, if, if he met all those stipulations, and there was a possibility, and if he liked me as a transsexual woman, then I would be off the hook and having to explain my whole history, okay? But if he liked me and was attracted to me as a cisgender woman, I can tell you right now that it would never work out. It would never work out. Why? Because 90% of men that ask out a transsexual woman, they don't know that they're transsexual, but when they find out, they display this behavior of disgust. They'll be friendly, but then they'll quickly disengage and lose interest, okay? So, again, I'm approached by a gentleman who's interested in dating or going out for a drink. That's not happening, okay? That's just not happening. The last time that I met a gentleman who was interested in me and he knew that I was a trans woman. He was a married guy, okay? And he was interested in getting to know me with a purpose, with a purpose of getting together with his wife in a swinging relationship. I'm not into swinging, okay? I'm not into um, having all these sex parties with strangers and stuff like that. I have never done it. I have no interest whatsoever, okay? I don't even enjoy watching porno. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. What can possibly turn me on by watching and looking at other people's genitalia. Looking at a guy's genitalia and another woman's genitalia. How's that, how does that turn me on? It doesn't. 
If I want to look at another one's genitalia, I just look at my own. I got the same thing on the, in between my legs. If I wanted to look at another man's genitalia, I knew what mine used to look like. All right? What I want is not happening, okay? It might not be in the cards for me. And if it wasn't in the cards for me, thank you. And if it wasn't in the cards for me, don't forget, I've been married twice for a total of 15 years, okay? In the past 10 years, I've had at least seven relationships, okay? I'm good, I'm doing fine, okay? I've gotten some comments by some subscribers that, that said to me, oh, I would really like to see you meet someone as if I'm desperate. I'm not desperate. I'm not desperate. Just last month, I was hit on by another gentleman, okay? And later I found out I know his whole family, okay? So that's the funny conversation that I'm having with you guys today after work. I wanted to discuss it, but this is ongoing. Every year this happens. Every few months I'm approached by some guy. Why can't I be approached by some beautiful, gorgeous woman who wants a relationship? You know? I don't know. But either way, I'm doing good. I'm happy where I am in my life. Okay? I'm just taking my life one day at a time. I'm working. I love posting videos on my life and things that's happening right now. Okay? So that's what happened today. Okay? Let's erase everything and let's go to, to a different subject. A couple of months ago, I've decided about actually taking a real vacation this year. Not one where I get on a plane and go visit my family and get cooped up in the house. No, 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 no. I visited my family. Um, I'm glad that I did, but I'm talking about a real vacation where I can go and see a different state or a different country. I think this year I want to do a singles cruise. <laughs> Duh, I'm single. Okay, so I like to do a singles cruise, but I don't think I want to do a Caribbean cruise. I've been on a couple of Caribbean cruise lines and it's no different than being in Florida, okay? If you go to St. Thomas or St. Martin's or St. Kitts, it's all hot, humid islands, okay? Caribbean islands. I think I'd like to do a Mediterranean cruise, okay? A seven-day Mediterranean cruise where I'm probably going to fly to Spain and hop on a, a boat over there or Italy. Okay, that's what I, I'm thinking about doing this year. So I'll think more about it and see what the possibilities are. So that's what's going on today, folks. That's what's on my little mind. And um, I downloaded the Royal Caribbean app on my phone and I can check out um, all their cruises, their European cruises, that's what it is really, it's all European cruises, and see what happens, see what the costs are, and see what's going on. Um, I got plenty of vacation time this year once more, and I really need to do a real getaway. I don't want to go to California, I don't want to go to another state. California looks like a wreck to me, a bunch of homeless people living in the street with tents. I don't want to go to Oregon, even though they're saying, oh, it's shaping up. I don't want to go to Portland, Oregon, or Oregon. A lot of homeless people, a lot of crimes going on in, in, in 
in our states. I don't want to do it. I want to get out of this country. I have a passport for a reason. So that's what's on my mind. I hope you guys have a nice day. <laughs> guys, that concludes. That concludes this evening's film.